We're looking at a mitochondrion inside a cell. On the surface of all cells and organelles are antigens used by the body for identification of different cellular components and foreign materials. If we want to stain the mitochondrion using immunofluorescence, we introduce antibodies specific to the antigens on the mitochondrion. They will bind together. These primary antibodies are usually made in a smaller animal, such as a rabbit or a mouse. Now a secondary antibody is introduced. The secondary antibody has a fluorochrome attached to its end, which will light up under a microscope. Secondary antibodies are usually mass-produced in a larger animal, such as a goat or a horse. They recognize the species of the primary antibody and attach to them. More than one secondary antibody may attach itself to a primary antibody, increasing the amplification of the stain. Here is an example of mitochondria detected by immunofluorescence in human cells. Now we want to show two organelles with different colors. First, we introduce the primary antibody for the mitochondrion, and we have chosen to make this one a rabbit antibody. They will not bind to the antigens on the nucleus, since they are made specifically to target mitochondria antigens. Now we'll introduce antibodies for the antigens on the nucleus. Here we've chosen to use mouse antibodies, made specifically to target nucleus antigens. Since we want to tag the organelles with different colors, it is imperative to use two different species for the primary antibodies because the secondary antibodies that we'll add later on recognize only the species of the primary antibody and do not differentiate between what organelle they are on. We've chosen to make the secondary antibody in goats. Here are goat anti-rabbit antibodies, that is, goat antibodies that attach to rabbit antibodies only. The secondary antibodies for the nucleus were also made in goats, but they were made specifically to target mouse antibodies, so the two sets of secondary antibodies don't mix and end up on the primary antibodies of the wrong organelle. Now we've successfully tagged two organelles with different colors. The important thing to remember is that the primary antibodies must be made in different animals, but the secondary antibodies can be made in the same animal to target different primary antibodies. This picture shows how you could use immunofluorescence to stain organelles in the same cell with many different colors. This is useful in studying localization of organelles.